やセカンド What is up guys? Welcome back to another live reaction of Certain Magical Index. This is episode 9. Last episode, we had a madness, craziness happen in the last, like the building collapsed and then it just rewind time. That is that OP magic and also apparently that also healed the people that got cut within the cram school. The guy called Isad. Oriolus Isad. All right. Isa, so Isa, yeah, Isa. Looking forward to see what she is going to do because Index is there. See, he took Index with him. Looking forward to seeing what he is planning to do with her because obviously the data he holds value so much. Looking forward to it. Oh, by the way, apparently, is that he is only 18 years old and also his hair color represent Earth. May Japan l y color their hair depends on the element they use. Anyway, um, looking forward to seeing how Index gonna get saved. Toma, notice Index is already in there because the hat and the cat and the hat was front of the building. So, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, all right, let's go and get this episode started, people. Okay, this is going to be interesting because Index wasn't originally involved in the story. She was just playing with Cat. Now she is here. Thanks to the ruin that has been left by Stale. And also, it's going to be interesting to see what the uh, blood actually planning to do after this. You know, assuming these guys defeat uh, Izzard. And also, Izzard apparently made a promise to Deep Blood about making a working church, basically, what Index had. And also, we got to see what happens if Esper tried to use magic in the last episode. Those cuts and stuff. The other thing is at this point, Tomo can't control his power. It's basically if you touch anybody, it automatically b r e a k their ma uh, magic. So Looking forward to the point where he can actually turn it on and off at his will. What? And they are back. Calm down.
Right. Oh. Okay, he doesn't know what happened. And that's the person he wanted to serve. Okay, all connecting up. Explain first. Someone going to be jealous. Jealousy? Uh-oh. She's just hungry. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to know what his reaction is more than anybody else, but I wasn't expecting his tail to be laughing. Oh boy.
He doesn't need you. Exactly. That he has been served. Okay, right hand should help, please. So when they drink her blood, they die. Simple. But he actually wanted to serve. Okay, his right hand is actually touching her. There we go. Okay, first of all, he also got him cocky, so now it's Toma turn to teach him some lessons. Oh, Stale is just gonna enjoy the show. Oh, no, never mind. He's just done. Yeah. At least act like dead. <laughs> Not that he have to, but yeah. Okay, his right hand have to touch him. That's the problem. Damn. <laughs> Feel like superhuman now. Okay, don't get hockey. There we go. Damn. Okay, he is very smart as well. Damn! Okay, why is there no blood? Oh! Damn! Never thought about that.
Okay. All right, come on. It's, it is magic. Okay, so there is a limit. Dude, he's like a zombie at this point. What did he notice? Wait, what's happening? None of them is working. Wait, wait, what? Dude, he's panicking. Damn. Oi. Dude, he thought it was a monster. Huh. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, wow. Damn. What happened to him? Oh. So wait, he's actually dead. Oh.
<laughs> Wait, dude. Well, it certainly exists according to uh, As As no, Alistair. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was quick. Uh oh. <laughs> That's obvious from her. Oh! <laughs> Back at home? I think that's what exactly happened. All right. Seems like things gonna be fun next episode. All right. Um, where have I, where have I seen this? Ah, high school DXT. People moving into the main character's house. <laughs> I was wondering, wait, why does this sound so family? Okay. Um, I'm not saying they are similar, but just just that aspect. Okay. If you haven't seen it, watch DXD. The first season might be a bit distracting. After that, you will get used to the all the uh, opai and stuff. Anyway, I'll leaving that aside. Going back to Index, a good episode. I was a little bit confused about the, what um, what was Toma doing, but then at the end, when the dragon showed up, it all made sense. Uh, I thought he was making people seeing uh, illusion or something along that line. Just saying what was going through my head while Toma was walking in. But yeah, uh, and also Stale and Toma's talk also explained further what Toma, how was Toma was able to do that. And when those blades and all those things are falling, I honestly thought like the blood is the one that actually stopping the um uh, magic right let's see okay um misaka's identical sister okay who the hell is misaka 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 is that misa mikoto he's he's talking about or is that different misaka that i don't know about at least I don't remember a name called Misaka. Um, I do write them down, most of the characters' names, so I'm looking forward to seeing who the, what this Misaka is. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, though, when the blades were falling and it, it wasn't actually hitting, basically they were disappearing. I thought that's the blood that's acting as a uh, imagine breaker, so I thought that's what was going on. But it seems like this guy is mentally broken. How um, rules is that? But it's sad to see how he wanted to serve Index. And he didn't create vampire. I mean, well, he wanted to use deep blood to get the vampire and then serve index. But yeah, end of the day, it became kind of like a sad story. 
Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section as always. If you guys enjoy the reaction, leave a thumbs up. If you do have anything to tell me, comment below. I will read the comments. Um, that's it from me. Stay safe, people. Have a wonderful day or night. And we'll see you guys with more videos.